welcome aboard Kijo. Kijo is a 2003 Heeson 44 meter. It's an all aluminium uh, hull, hull and superstructure with teak covered decks. So built in 2003, she's just had a major refit. She's just had her, her 20 year class survey was completed this year. Um, because last year she was in a, in a shipyard for the whole year, having her main engines, gearboxes, and generators rebuilt. Um, I seem to be frightening everybody off with my camera. Um, here we are, this is the main salon. Uh, so just a little bit of history. I mean, all these soft furnishings have been changed. It's a 2003 yacht, as I've said. Uh, Terence Disdale designed the interior and it's been modified as time has gone on. But we haven't sort of refitted the interior because well, there's no need. It's still in very good condition and it's very nice and it's sort of quite distinctive. There's a bit of a sort of an Asian or African theme running, which has been toned down a little bit in, in the main salon, but uh, you'll see in the Sky Lounge, it's quite uh, African. Although change the carpet and it's quite Asian or something else. Um, yeah, so there's a bar at the back, big seating area here, dining here. And there are two day heads on this yacht, both approximately this position. And there's one on this deck here, on this side. And there's another one on the bridge deck. But let's go through here. This is the owner's suite. So you go through the office, all these doors to close those, you can isolate these areas. I love the bathroom here. It's got a bath. Through there, you have a, a WC and a bidet, which is all very nice. And on this side, you've got a lovely shower. So going back through here, so this is the owner's stateroom, lovely big king size bed, and then an occasional bed settee there, high low TV, back through the, back through the office. Right, we'll do the we'll do the lower accommodation deck now. So there's four staterooms down here. So four staterooms, and they're kind of identical but reversed. So on this side, I think these are really the VIPs. So you've got a big double, although they're not they're called the guest cabins rather than the VIPs. The VIPs are the other side. I'll show you those in a minute. But I kind of prefer this. So you've got a big double here and a single, and then its own, of course, ensuite bathroom. And then you've got a, a double here. So these are the VIPs. I guess it's a VIP because it's got a sort of proper walk around for the whole bed there. But for me, there's not much in it. I think I prefer the others. And then, I suppose the bathroom's a bit grander, but uh, that's it. So the others are identical, except they're reversed. So the single bed there is just on this side of the bulkhead. Okay, and then there's the other supposed VIT, VIP there. Um, sorry, the other, yeah, the other VIP there. So go back up the stairs, onto the main accommodation deck again. And we'll just go through to the galley quickly. I think they're probably all getting... So you see, there we go, there's eight crew. They're all on board. Um, they're remarkably camera shy. 
So this is a sort of pantry area. Here's the galley, complete with chef. Hello. Look at that. There's the chef. Hello, nice to meet you. <laughs> and um, she's done a sterling job all day. So lots of what uh, chefs and every guests and everybody else like about this yacht is the uh, number of refrigerators and fridges on board. So you've got a, a freezer there, two big fridges, and then on this side you've again got two big fridges. So plenty of room. Down here, we're not going to go down there, but down here is the uh, crew quarters. So you've got a crew mess, a laundry, and three twin crew cabins. Let's go back this way, back through the pantry. And then you've got a kick plate there, so if you're plated up, you can walk through there without a problem. Then we go upstairs onto the bridge deck. So here's the bridge. Look at that tiny steering wheel for such a big boat. But that's life these days. Some of them are smaller than that. So you've got a crew um, captain's cabin there, which is en suite. There's uh, a double bed and a, and a super posy, a sort of a bunk bed there for a spare crew member because this, this yacht runs with eight. Uh, but you can run with seven, I guess, if it's private. Another day head here. This child is out at about 175,000 a week gross. So it's, it's quite a profitable boat or let's say it mitigates its cost quite quickly um, by not doing too much charter because its, uh, it's charter rate can, compared to its value is pretty good. Um, so here we are, here's the Sky Lounge. People love this area. Uh, we decided to not to change the carpet this year. We we're gonna put a sort of plain white carpet and sort of tone down the African feel about it. But people seem to love it and it's only a bit of carpet. Uh, then we go out into the, uh, on, onto the dining area. It's lovely here, they had lunch here today. It looked very good. I wasn't invited. Well, I was actually, I was busy. Then we go up here on, into the sun deck. This is a lovely area. This is sort of fairly, this is Nice port, by the way. This is the commercial port de Nice. And so you get the ferries coming in. That's the ferry terminal down there. And this has been the ECPY, which is a, a sort of one day boat show festival. And Kijo is the first time it's been here for many years. Uh, this is the old harbour of Nice. It's rather beautiful in its own way. So going forward, got the jacuzzi, the obligatory jacuzzi. And then you've got the seating area. For me, this is the best place to be sitting there while underway. So there you can see uh, amongst the myriad of aerials, um, you've got your Starlink receivers there for high speed internet, which I have to say works pretty well. So there, this yacht next door, extra time, very nice, um, very modern, but the interior for me is just, it's, uh, it's very plain, it's very minimalist. And I, I didn't feel terribly sort of comfortable. I didn't want to sit down anywhere. Where this, you kind of feel like you want to sit down. You want to get involved with the yacht. That means it's time for everyone to go home, being six o'clock. The end of the show has just been announced. So I'll go back through the bridge, 
we'll just go, oh, nearly got him. We'll just go out of this door here. I'll just show you the bow. Jesus. So if you can still hear me, that's East Cote d'Azur Airport just over there. That's enough everyone, you can stop now. There's the wing station there, so you've got a wing station on each side for piloting the yacht. There we go. Tony wants to go home now, so we. Oh, as these guys have got their engines ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> so we, so we better, we better sign off. Thank you for listening. <laughs>